Revival Blast Reno Mokri. So, <laughs> and so the Mokri want to try the want to compare Peter Obito Tunubu. Not be small go to go to that refine give them. <laughs> I go live on I watch the video by myself, eh? Over there, family. As I watch video, make sure say you drop your comment on how you reason this matter. Also, share them. Make people see it too. Make them say that that was the reason our pita will be any here at all at all. Where are you? When I watch the video. What's your problem with Peter Obi's uh, academic uh, records as uh, indicated in that introduction? We all know that well, Mr. Peter Obi I, attended the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, right? We also know that he has multiple qualifications. Uh, if I may throw it in, he was my uh, classmate at the Sai Business School at the uh, University of Oxford. So he has classmates who can stand up and say, I sat in the same class with uh, Peter Obi. I can at least attest to that, okay? And then you say in the, you know, as the introduction indicated, that even uh, uh, the APC candidates' uh, academic records are more straightforward. What is straightforward? Chicago State University or Government College Ibadan? If you may just uh, educate us. Well, thank you for the question. Well, I made that statement in response to criticism from the Labour Party against uh, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress. And I said, if you look at all the presidential candidates, the least educationally qualified, the most educationally backward, if you like, is the Labour Party candidate. You know, Rabbi Mr. Congress, who has a PhD in water engineering, Waziri Atiko Baka has a master's with distinction in international relations, and Bola Tinibu has a second class for um, the second class upper in accounting. And you have the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, who had a second class lower in philosophy. And if you put that together, it's obviously the lowest. And so when they were making fun, poking fun of Bola Tinibu, you know, they have a, a number of their surrogates and a spokesman saying that, you know, he didn't even go to the Chicago State University. I said before, I said, look, I do not like Bola Tinibu because I know for a fact that he's a known drug lord. However, I went to Chicago State University myself, physically, I went there. And I read photos. I went there to the uh, exams and records office and I asked them and they did tell me that yes, Bola Tinibu attended, he's a uh, proud alumni of the institution and that there is no doubt, there is no, con there is no controversy about it. And that's what I wanted to make known to the public. If we're gonna be criticizing, we're gonna do that based on facts, based on truth. Because we cannot be going after a man with a dishonest information or with lies. And if you look at what Bola Tinibu has said, and if you look at what Peter Obi has said, Peter Obi, I mean, in terms of lies, he's told much more lies than all the other presidential candidates. I wrote an article, 11 main, major lies told by Peter Obi. You know, he's told lies from everything from his shares at uh, IBL, from um, meeting Peter, uh, Peter Odili at school, which he didn't do, you know, to American players dominating in the NBA, which was a lie, to saying that um, the, a company invested in, you know, um, employed 60% of Anaba people, which was not true to claiming that uh, Bola Tinibu sent out uh, anti-evil WhatsApp messages telling you not to vote for him. Look, we cannot run a presidential candidate with such dirty lies, a, a presidential campaign with such dirty lies. If you're going to go and criticize somebody, it has to be based on the fact. And that was just what I was trying to establish. All right, thank you very much for um, establishing that. Uh, however, you must know that Peter Obi did come out to clarify the statement that he made, saying that he did um, attend school with Peter Odili, but not in the same set, obviously, um, based on some of the representations of him online. Reno, please, I'd like to get some clarification. You said you went to Chicago yourself. I will ask you, what Chicago did you go to? Is it the same Chicago to get uh, to the Is it the same Chicago that now there's a case in court filed about the deposition that, you know, a lawyer subpoenaed the school he went to and they said they don't have any of those records. The records, is, the records are submitted to INEC, the EC9 form, and there were even discrepancies on the date of birth of the person. So what, what record did you say you got of Tinubu from Chicago? Because there's already a case in court filed by uh, Mike and Arrow eBay or something, one of the lawyers, and they were saying there were discrepancies as what as regards what was even submitted. So what did what Chicago did you go to? I'd like to know. And they confirmed to you as regards the veracity of that. And did they give you any documents you can show to that effect? 
Well, uh, Rufa, you've got your facts wrong. The subpoena that was subpoenaed was not for Chicago State University. It was a subpoena that was sent to Deloitte. And then also there's been some uh, document floating around in the internet about a college, something I think it was uh, South College or something like that. I'm not talking about that college. You know, and for a fact, I know for a fact that Tinibu did not even go to that college and Tinibu did not say that he went to that college. I know the college that he said he went to. He went to Richard Daly Junior College. However, I'm talking about Chicago State University. There's no subpoena from any uh, lawyer to Chicago State University. I went there physically. I mean, if you, go, I mean, I sent a photo of this to Arise TV. I think this was about um, a week ago when I was interviewed in London. I did a video while I was there. The Chicago State University um, Records Office actually released a signed statement, a notarized signed statement. It's public knowledge. It's out there. You know, it's been carried by the paper. Look, like I've told you before, I went there. I'm not somebody just sitting down on the internet or somebody just um, relying on third parties. I went there. You know, I physically went there. The okay. fact that I went there okay. is a fact. Okay. Reno, please, I'm sorry. I have a follow-up. If you're finished, I have a follow-up to what you just said just now. So I just wanted to tell you in advance. So when, you, when you're done, just let me know. So I'll follow up on that, please. Okay. Are, are you done? Let me just quickly give the follow-up. So Reno, well, the that's the thing. Rufai... Rufai, you need to be able to control yourself so that when someone is talking, you allow them because that's how this is going to work. I talk, you listen, and then you listen, uh, I talk. Uh, I mean, there's going to be enough time for me, for uh, you to say you have a, a follow-up question when I finish talking. But, but Reno, I thought you had finished, and you know, that's why I even give you the... But I was still talking. Hang on a minute, I was still Reno. Talking Reno, when Reno, you, when you Reno. It. And you have, Reno, you, Reno, you have Reno. history of doing that. Anyway, now, let's Reno, go, please let's finish go your on. thoughts, let's and I come on. with my rebuttal, please. Uh, just finish your thought. Go ahead. No, no, you've interrupted my, uh, my thought process. Okay, so let me, follow up, let me follow up on the reporter, Reno. I mean, and that's why I had the courtesy to be able to tell you that when you finish, because you paused for a bit, and that's why I interjected. So I will not just interrupt your thoughts. And all this game you try to play to blackmail me and say all sorts, uh, that that's how I behave, it's your game. I'm not prone into that. I'm just a journalist and I do my job. And that's just to you, Reno, just to set you straight on that. This is the rebuttal I wanted to give. The court paper said that Tinubu presented a forged Chicago State certificate to INEC with the intent that it may be acted upon as genuine. This is a new court case, and you can go and check the, uh, what is it called, the records of this. This is a new court case that was just filed as at the 16th of November 2022. So I was correct as regards to filing in court. That was just a rebuttal I wanted to give you, Reno. Okay, come but move see, on. That's the Reno, thing. I know Reno, can, can, we, can we move like on? This? Okay. Can I respond to that? Go yes. ahead. Um, you see, that's the thing. You know, when you are a broadcaster and you have um, an, an interview channel like this, you need to be conscious of what you have said. I had no doubt about the court case. I never said, and you can replay this video. I mean, I'm sure your viewers at home can go back and listen to what I said. I didn't say there was no court case. You said that there had been a subpoena to Chicago State University and that Chicago State University had denied that Sinibu did not go. And I said, look, I don't know about um, the college that's been floating about in the internet, which is something South College. And then also I know that Sinibu went to, uh, can I finish please? And I said that I know that Tinubu went to Richard Daly College. However, that there was a subpoena to Deloitte, and Deloitte had said Tinubu did not work for them, but that there was no subpoena to Chicago State University. The reason why I'm here being interviewed by you is because of Chicago State University. And I know for a fact that he went there. Chicago State University has, has released a statement, a notarized statement, which has also been published in the Nigerian media, stating that he went there. For any other team, for Deloitte, for any other college, and I mean, I don't know about that. I'm only talking about what I know. Tinubu went to Chicago State University. I do not like the fact that he's a known drug lord, but I'm not going to libel him. I'm not going to lie against him. He did go to Chicago State University. Reno, I put it to you again, and I would like to give you an open challenge about your visit to Chicago, and Chicago told you that they had all the records. I would challenge you openly on that, and this is why I would challenge you. At first, you said that I didn't, that uh, the subpoenas were for Deloitte, were not for Chicago University. Reno, you were wrong. In the court papers, in case you don't have access to it, the court papers by Enahoro Eba that was filed recently, he, sub he told his colleague, Mr. Matthew J. Qualls, a Chicago-based lawyer, who issued an attorney subpoena on his behalf against the Chicago State University. In case number 22L007289, on the 12th of August, Kwa had in his subpoena directed the school to mail all the documents and records in possession that pertains to Tinubu and his educational qualifications. And it is based on that. In the suit, 
uh, what's it called? And now we told the court that copies of from Chicago State Academic Record undergraduate and were letters sent to him, which were attached to him as a court exhibit. And it contradicts the material provided by Tinubu in EC9 forms of to INEC. So that's also prove you wrong. In case you do not know, Reno, there was actually a subpoena to Chicago based on the deposition of this legal paper. You can go and read the vanguard of the 16th of November for that. It's not only the Deloitte that was subpoenaed, it was subpoenaed for Chicago, and this is based on. Now, that's why I challenge what did Chicago University tell you, Reno, when you went there? Who did you meet? Who did you talk to? What papers did they give you? Well, um, that again, like I like I said before, there was no ch a subpoena to Chicago State University, and attorney cannot issue a subpoena. I've got a master's in law. I don't know what degree you have. Only a court can issue a subpoena to an institution. And the man, if you uh, his court case, well, if you look at what he said, those, those are claims that he's making. It's when you go to court and the court will now verify your claims. So that is a third party claim. It's not I mean, coming from an institution. I went to Chicago State University. I went there. I met with their officer at the records office, they issued a statement. The statement has been published by various Nigerian media. Punch has published it, you know, I believe uh, maybe um, uh, Guardian has also published it. I mean, if I knew you were going to ask this question, I would have brought the document with me and I would have shown it, shown it to you. The man went to Chicago State University, you know, and there is, I mean, even on Chicago State University's alumni website, and you can actually do that one because I know, I mean, in fact, you like to do that a lot. Because Reno, you but you, you prepped for this interview <laughs> now. How, how come are you saying if you know you will have brought the records? But you prepped for this interview, Reno. And secondly, what was the name uh, well, of the executive uh, you met there in Chicago uh, State University? Me. What was the name uh, of the person, me. the exam records person you met? Uh, you, like I said before, you can't be doing this. This is very unprofessional. When you talk, I don't interject. I allow you to finish. I'm very quiet. I control myself. When I'm talking, you should do me the same courtesy. It's wrong for you to just do that. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, I don't know why you do that. I was talking. If I'm finished, you'll be able to talk. I went to Chicago State University. I met the uh, uh, the officer there. A statement was it, it was released. You know, it's, I mean, the media has it. It's been published before. And then when I was doing this, inter when I was asked to do this interview, you know, I, I, I was not told that okay, I was going to be needing to bring those documents. You know, I'm, I'm right now. I'm in Peru. I'm in Cusco. I'm, I'm here on a holiday. I'm going to Machu Picchu. However, that document has been published. However, that document has been published by the Nigerian media. Conch has published it. I believe Guardian has also published it. What I'm telling you is that for a fact, Bola Tinibu went to Chicago State University. That is not, is not um, in doubt at all. You know, I went there physically. So what I'm telling you right now is this. I'm not talking about the government college in Padon. He might have gone there. He might not have gone there. You know, I'm not talking about his um, background as a drug lord. He is a known drug lord. But whether he went to Chicago State University, that is true. And on this court case that this man has filed in court, yes, you know, the man will go to court and then the court is going to adjudicate upon it. When you make a claim in court, it just remains that a claim. It is only the judge, you know, because we don't have jury system, jury system in Nigeria, it's only the judge that can now make your claim valid. But I'm telling you for a fact that this man went to Chicago State University. And listen, I'm a member of the People's Democratic Party. I do not want Bolatini to win. It will be in my interest to join this bad wagon and begin to slander the man and to now libel him and to say he never went there. I went there. The man attended Chicago State University. Let's focus on other issues that the man has uh, problems on. His known drug past and maybe the government college he But as for this Chicago State University, forget it, he went there. 